<laughs> hey, Lady Rad. <laughs> and the glamorous milk. Welcome to Look At Her, oh. the Hey Queen After Show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, or even laid with, Ooh. and spills a little tea. Ooh. Mm, scandalous. <laughs> oh, milk's a bit her tea, too. <laughs> or throws a little shade if she has to, or just tells us something we don't know. Today, we have the uber talented, super glamorous, and gorgeous Mel. Looking good. You made it through the main yes. interview. Oh, we All did it. Good. We did it. I still have my hair on. I still have my lashes on. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Girl, she didn't cry him off. <laughs> Lady Red, you're still paying tribute to the glamorous Sylvester in that look. Oh, Woo! yes, Woo! honey. I got some of that for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you definitely make me feel mighty real. <laughs> <laughs> Another person that makes me feel mighty real is our sexy go-go boy, Mr. Randy Boo. Woo! You can check out yes, his all-gay boy band, Echo V, on Instagram, right? Yes, at Echo V Music. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Well, hop your little sexy ass out of here, because we have to get to looking. <sighs> All right, Milk, uh, you know how to play this game. I have seen this game played many times. Uh huh, I have a feeling you're gonna be good at it. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Not too much pressure. Uh, no, no pressure at all. All right, <clears throat> let me tighten up these glasses. Uh, all right, uh -huh. and look at her. Detox. Yes, ah, detox. detox. Seen is... here at Mickey's. Yeah. I mean, Detox is forever my queen. Uh, she's always so stunning. And I mean, a little, a, a little like aggressive when it comes to my nether regions, but oh. that's fine. <laughs> I like it. She enjoys it. I enjoy it. We have fun. Now, she was with you at the Mark Jacobs wedding. She was with me at the Mark Jacobs wedding. Tearing up the dance floor? She, I didn't see her much on the dance floor, mm. but I did see her looking seductive and beautiful. And she, she had on this uh, baby blue suit with like big, strong shoulders. Uh, and her makeup was gorgeous. Um, I'm a huge fan of hers. Big, 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 big fan. What's yeah. a fun story of you guys together, you know, off camera? Oh, um, oh God, I, th I, th oh, <laughs> so, uh, um, what year was it? 2000, I think it was summer of 2012. Mm -hmm. Um, she was in New York City at West Gay. Yeah. Frankie Sharp's such West Gay. Such a great Gay. party. Uh, that was such a fun party. Um, and she was there with DWV. Mm-hmm. And uh, I went in there and drag because she, I was a big fan of hers. So I was like, ooh, I hope she sees me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and she saw me and she felt me. Um, <laughs> and um, I don't know, I just fell in love with her. I just fell in love with her uh, antics yeah. and her beauty. She is so beautiful. She's awesome. She's so fucking beautiful. We love you, Detox. Yes, yes love so Detox. we do. Right, Lady Rat? Yes, baby, all day, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look at her. Uh, Kennedy, Kennedy Davenport. Davenport. Um, gosh, I love her. She is so horny for me, it's not <laughs> even funny. Um, we've been on many tours together, and just getting the chance to know her off offset in in that tour life and that in tour life is not easy it's it's a lot of late nights it's a lot of sleepless nights because mm -hmm. um, you guys were on what divas of drag we together? were on the divas of drag tour together yeah for sure the infamous the divas infamous of drag <laughs> tour where i had to come between uh right Alyssa edwards and uh <laughs> mimi i'm first in the this is getting cheesy <laughs> legendary monologue <laughs> What would tell me about that moment? Um, <laughs> Divas of Drag was, I'm not afraid to call it Rinky Dink because uh -huh. it was a little bit, it was, it was definitely the little engine that could. Mm. It ended up being this amazing tour. 
um, that people had a lot of fun at, but it was, it was a lot of work going into it, like the whole tour schedule and the way yeah. things were set up. So coming between Mimi I'm First and Alyssa Edwards was, oh God, is so fun. It's definitely <laughs> like a moment in my life that I will forever remember. They were so mad at each other. Mm. I couldn't believe two people could be so angry at each other about to like hit one another. Right. I was like, no, let me this big, big man, yeah. big and milky, come in between the two of you. <laughs> um, but yes, so uh, Kennedy was on that tour. Sorry, that yeah. Was fun. <laughs> I got, got so a little distracted. bit of a tangent there. I got so distracted <laughs> yeah. with one of my favorite all time stories. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so what was you and Kennedy on the road? What's Kennedy like to hang out with on the road? Kennedy's great. She she loves to eat. Uh huh. Um, I love to eat. So um, I remember we were at a couple of crack and, Cracker Barrels together. Yeah. Um, and she was and she was telling me what what to and what not to order. Oh okay. Yeah. And so that was fun. And then we what's also. What's Kennedy's um, to order and what's Kennedy's not to order? Do you remember? I don't know. I don't <laughs> remember. Um, but we also on that tour we got to go to um, Dolly D Dollywood. You did. Yeah, we got to go to Dollywood, Pigeon Four, Tennessee, and uh, and that was so fun. Uh -huh. Like what a moment! Like with all of these like gay queer drag race people to get to go to such an icon's like. Park. Yeah, to go to the, the uh, park run by the one of the biggest drag queens of them all. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked to have ridden on the Smoky Mountain Railroad with Kennedy mm. Davenport and Milk. Doesn't mm. that sound good, Lady Rest? Mm. Baby, I don't <laughs> think they would let me on them rides. It's a weight limit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep it going. Look at her. Oh, oh, Miss Gia Gunn. Gia. G -g 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 Gia. Um, now, you guys actually, this is the maybe the one piece of drama you had in your original season. Yeah. Was you got read for filth, I guess. Yeah. By the, the sharp-tongued wit of one Miss Gia Gunn. For sure. She, she very <laughs> sharp-tongued and very um, witful. Um, I, and... It's a relationship that has developed more than I thought ever could oh. could have. Um, after we left the show, obviously there was that like TV drama that wow. I think we stuck to for a while mm. until we realized that each other are actual people, and that once TV is taken away, we can get to know each other yeah. in like um, a wholesome, uh, well, wholesome. <laughs> I mean, as naked as we like to be, um, but more, more real adult sort of way. And so her, uh, Gia and uh, Laganja have become quite, I've become quite, quite close with, um, which is very surprising based off of season six. But then again, season six was Five years ago. Yeah. So we've all grown a lot, mm -hmm. and I think what she what she has blossomed into, um, as far as an activist for the trans community, is so amazing. Like I feel she's found exactly what she's she always had been looking for, um, because I knew it. I know it took her a, a second to figure it all out, yeah. especially under the spotlight of Drag Race. Um, a, a, a brand that has n not necessarily accepted uh, women of her, you know, caliber yeah. and uh, who she is. So I love, I love Gia. I think she is meant for uh, many amazing things, and I can't wait to see the splash she makes within the trans community as an um, outspoken activist. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll always have the honor of being read oh, by Gia when baby. she was at, when she when was at she... her most cunty. Because she's a softer Gia now, you know oh, what I mean? Well, but in the... more ways than one. <laughs> yes. Is it soft? <laughs> it's oh, it's soft. So, yes. She's always been soft. Yes. But yes. Softest. Softest, you're right. Yes. <laughs> okay, look at her. Trixie Mattel. Aw, Trixie. That's a cute picture of her. Oh, big hair. Big, I mean, it. the hair is perfect. Um, you know what, what can I say? I, 
I fell in love with her before she was on the show. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with her while she was on the show. I fell in love with her competing against her. Um, and you revealed in the main show that you guys had a moment right before she went on Drag Race. Yeah, right before she left. Where she um, gave you a tip about summer camp. Yes. Um, she, she's just always been uh, truthful, honest. I don't know. I just love looking at her face. <laughs> and I love seeing such an iconic face sort of transition through the ages. Uh -huh. Like her compared to her on Drag Race. Oh, really different. It's the same face, but oh my God, elevated to a beautiful Technicolor mm -hmm. like way. Yeah. It's really pretty. All right, look at her. Oh, adore. adore. Uh, An another one who, uh, you know, the difference between when you guys were on the season together to where she is now mm -hmm. is astoundingly big. Yeah. I, I think uh, what I visually see her ha as um, and how she presents herself is beautiful. Oh, God. And her time on All Stars wasn't... Uh, I don't think it was as magical as it should have been. Oh right, or as yeah. she wanted as she wanted it to. Um, but she's she's doing it. She has moved on since then. She is she's gotten into the groove of what she loves to do, and that's beautiful. Once somebody can figure that out, like you're set. If one route doesn't work, take the next path. You know. Well said. Yeah. Look at her. Pendula Creme. Pendula Creme. Uh, I do love her as well. Um, season six sister and also All Stars three. Uh huh. Um, and had some very wise words to say about your experience on All Stars. Totally. I obviously she's had she had her own moment on All Stars. Mm. <laughs> it was like a self care moment. It's like this is not br this is not bringing me joy, Marie Kondo style. But did you, were you Were you all in the audience? Were you backstage? We, we were standing. Uh, you were all at the back of the stage. We were standing at the back of the stage. And of course it was surprising, but I sort of had a feeling mm. that this bitch was gonna pull out something iconic. Uh -huh. And she did. <laughs> and she did. She sure did. <laughs> Look at Ha! For part two of Look at Ha, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at Ha, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe. Ha, 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 ha.